Let's discuss two examples of domain and range for the hyperbolic function. In our first example, we'll discuss the domain and range where there is no asymptotes. And in our second example, we'll add asymptotes and see the impact on the domain and range. So in our first example, we'll discuss the domain of the hyperbolic function. Now remember, domain is looking at all the possible values of x for which the graph would exist. And in our previous videos to discuss the domain, we used a vertical line from negative infinity on the x-axis and moved it along the x-axis to positive infinity. So if I move this line from negative infinity, this blue arrow on the graph shows me that it will exist. So there is a value for x that will exist at negative infinity. And if I continue to move all across the x-axis, I can see that there are intersection points for every single value of x. But then I get to the y-axis. And at the y-axis, there's no intersection with the graph. So where x is equal to zero, the graph does not exist because this vertical line does not cross the graph at any point. So the graph does not exist at x equal to zero. That point is called an asymptote. An asymptote is a value where the graph will not exist. And if I continue to the right of the y-axis, I see that the graph is touching that vertical line again. So that means for the values of the domain, the graph still exists. So what we have seen is that the x values exist for all values of x, but not at x equals to zero. So that is part of our domain. So x cannot be equal to zero because when x was zero, there were no values where the vertical line touched the hyperbola. Now for the range. I do the same exercise, but with a horizontal line, and I start from negative infinity and move all the way to positive infinity. So if I move this line from negative infinity all the way up, I know that the graph would exist at negative infinity. This arrow shows me that the graph will continue to go down, so it will exist for a value of negative infinity. And if I move it all the way up, I can see that there are intersection points for all values of y. And as I go up, I get towards the x-axis. Now at this point, y is equal to 0. And we can see that the graph does not intersect with a horizontal line at y is equal to 0. So it means it does not exist there. So y cannot be equal to 0. And this is now a horizontal asymptote, meaning the graph would not exist where y is equal to 0. And if I continue upwards again towards positive infinity, I can see that there are intersection points again for these values of y. So as I move up, the graph is still existing or intersecting with the horizontal line. So the range is all the possible values of y, but not where y is equal to 0. In our second example, the graph is shifted. It shifted upwards by 2 units, and it shifted to the right by 1 unit. So let's look at the domain. That means we are going to discuss the values where the graph exists on the x-axis. And if I put in a vertical line, I can see that that vertical line will intersect with the graph for all possible values of x from negative infinity. We are looking at these intersection points. 
So this vertical line is always intersecting up until it reaches the value of x equals to 1. So at x equals to 1, we can see that that vertical line is not intersecting with the graph. It will get extremely close, but it will never intersect. And that is called an asymptote, meaning the graph would not exist at x is equal to 1. So x cannot be equal to 1 because the graph does not exist there, and that is called the vertical asymptote. But if I continue with my vertical line towards the right, I can see that it's again intersecting with the graph. And this continues all the way to positive infinity. So the domain is all the possible values of x, but not where x is equal to 1, because that's the vertical asymptote. Now for the range. For the range, we want to discuss the y values where the graph exists. And we would use a horizontal line from negative infinity to see points of intersection. So starting from negative infinity, I know that the graph would exist because this arrow is pointing downwards towards negative infinity, meaning the graph would exist at that point. And as I'm moving my horizontal line upwards, I can see that it's always intersecting. So it's true for all of these values up until I reach y is equal to 2. So where y is equal to 2, we can see that the hyperbola is going in two different directions, but it's never intersecting with this line or this value. That means that y is equals to 2 is a horizontal asymptote, meaning the graph will not exist at this value. So for the range, y can never be equal to 2, and this is called the horizontal asymptote, because the graph does not exist there. But if I continue upwards after y is equals to 2, I can see that that horizontal line is intersecting with the graph again. And this continues all the way up to positive infinity. So the range is y can be every value from negative infinity to positive infinity, but y cannot be equal to 2.